Hi friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing tonight? This is a little uh, video about a TV craft I'm doing this week. Uh, I was going to show you, let me move that out of the way. Uh, welcome to my channel tonight and I was doing this uh, little TV crafting tonight and I thought this was turning out so cool and I'm sure it's been done before but uh, I just wanted to share it because I just think it's really neat. So. I was working on, you know, I've been working on book page crafts, and so I was working on these, using up my book pages, making other things, and then I started, uh, I saw this pile of book pages, like this, little scraps, and I said, I need to do something with these scraps, and look how pretty they are, like all these different colors, and you see the different browns, this is a very vintage, um, Reader's Digest page. That's where all these are from. And then I had one that had a picture on it. I didn't really particularly care for the picture, but the colors, when you tear it up, adds a lot of color, you know, that dark color to your, whatever you're gluing it on. So I just saw these pretty colors sitting here. I thought, it, you know, I'm going to just do some, uh, whatever, collaging or whatever on an, on an envelope. And I just happened to have this it was a junk mail envelope from the mail, but it was small. And I thought, uh, that's so cool. It's just a, you know, it was a return envelope for something. I don't know what it was, remember what it was, but I got it in the mail. And I thought, I just cover up that, you know, they have a return address on there. So I thought, I just cover that up with book page. So I did that. This is how it came out. Just tore pieces and glue them on with glue stick. And like if they went out over the edge, then I just trimmed it. And then this is a couple pieces of napkin. So I'm going to, what this is, is uh, what these are is just bases. They're the base for something to deck, an envelope to decorate later. So I'm just making a bunch of these uh, kind of collage envelopes. All these book page things, I'm kind of making a bunch of them. And then, you know, maybe I decide, the next step is I decide how I want to decorate them. So then I'll get, all my, get out all my decorating stuff. And can I, I can decorate them all at one time. So, like this is one. I thought it came out really pretty. And I'm going to put more in here, like I said. And then this is the back. Isn't that pretty? And it just, you know, opens up. And it makes it uh, feel so cool. It makes it nice and thick feeling. And just really neat. So, I just did this one. I did this with this one the other night. So, it's all nice and dry. And then, if... Uh, if you say, like I have an edge here, let's see. I'm trying to see if that can be cut off. Now that's part of the envelope. So like, say you have an edge that you don't like, say, because you couldn't, because you couldn't get the book page all the way up to the edge or something. So that's what this looks like here. But what you can do is go around with some distress ink around the edges later, and it'll just cover up all your, you know, white edges or whatever. The color, you know, colored edges maybe that you don't want to see or you want to cover up them in some way. So I'll do that to that later. And that'll be the next step. And then here's a couple more I did tonight, or a few more actually. I got done tonight. Uh, see, I need to put another piece. Yeah, I'm not done with this one. I'm still working on this one. <laughs> but I just pulled out some, or I thought was, why don't I pull out some white envelopes that I have? You know, I have some colored envelopes and craft color colored envelopes I don't like to cover up the color you know what I mean but a white envelope that would be cool to just have some book page instead of plain white to use so here's another one that I did tonight and you, you just you know don't have to think about it you just tear and glue <laughs> and then trim off your edges so that's all I did here and I think it came out super pretty with these different colored tones of, of aged book paper. Here's the back, you know, and it's really cool and thick feeling after you put that on there. So I just, just love it. And then here is another one I did tonight. You see the different colors in there. So cool, we can go all over that with more distressed ink even though it's already colored or, you know, put some napkins on it or just however you like to decorate fabric, little pieces of fabric, some bling, uh, you know, flowers, cutouts, um, die cuts. So this one, I'm trying not to glue down my flaps. 
So, because with all the glue, my flaps keep trying to get glued down. So here's the one I'm next one I'm starting on. You can see I need a piece, some pieces, more pieces right here. I haven't done the flap yet, and uh, haven't done the back yet. So it'll be, you know, that'll be covered, and this will be covered. But you could actually sew around the edges too after you get. You know with some kind of like a dark thread for an added trim there's so many things you can do with a base once you get your base uh, done like that and so that's the cup the book the envelopes white envelopes covered with book pages and then I was fooling around with uh, this the pages so like here is a whole book page right here so you can see what size they are. These are from the Reader's Digest, like I said. So it's a whole book page. And where I was fooling around with the size because I've made envelopes with this size where you just fold, you know, fold the bottom up, fold the top up for your down for your flap like that. So you have that size of an envelope, you know. And I thought, wouldn't it be cute if I could make some smaller ones? So <laughs> I cut, I fold, did the same thing, fold it up fold up, fold down, okay, and I cut the edges off, the, see here's the before, I cut these plain edges off, so you have just the middle text, and it made this size envelope, so super cute, but, and I wasn't done with it, what I did next was cover it with napkin, so I covered the front with napkin and the back, so you can do that when you have it like this, like open it up and go ahead and cover this with napkin. And, you know, uh, let's see, you don't want to waste your, well, you can put it on the side, inside if you want your inside lined with napkin. You can go ahead at that point. See, I've got this book page in there. But if you want the inside of your envelope lined with your napkin, just go ahead and put it on both page, both sides and then fold you know, into your envelope. So that's what I did. I just put it on the outside though, on one side, one side napkin. And then I fold, you know, I had my fold. And then, uh, you know, I have my napkin. And then I rounded the flap here, just kind of uh, by eye. I didn't use my corner rounder here. I, you know, I just didn't have it handy in the other room. I was in the living room, so I just, you know, did it with my scissors, rounded the corners, and look how cute that little size envelope is just awesome and here's the back and then I just came in here just now and sewed around the edges for an added you know little trim so you've got I what I did was sew around the bottom first I thought you know why don't I just go on around the flap and I've done that before and I know that people have done that it's not anything new but I just really like the continuous uh, consistent kind of effect it gives with a line going all the way around like that and then you have a nice little envelope to use wherever you want and it's just a super cute size this one's decorated with a little blue and white Christmas napkin so I'm thinking I have some if I remember right I think I have some a little those snor those little light blue snowflake bling uh, stickers from Dollar Tree from last year so when I get my Christmas stuff out wouldn't that be pretty to put some or, or one whatever of uh, those little blue snowflakes on here and I don't know what else I'll do with it but again it's a base for when I want to do my Christmas a Christmas journal I have this ready to go and ready to decorate when I have all that stuff out you know so but right now my napkins I have easy I mean my Christmas stuff is easy access I just don't want to get all that stuff out right now you know I got my Halloween stuff out so <laughs> don't want to get the Christmas stuff out but I have all, all my napkins in one spot so I'm just working with the book pages and the napkins and I have my sewing machine so I can quick sew around whatever so that's the little two little envelopes that I'm showing you the collage envelopes for TV crafting and also, I'm working on some of these little, uh, this is like a little journaling card, and this is just some scraps. You can see the rough edge, how cute. I think it's cute. I put some napkin on there. I did this in the other room, in the living room. 
had my little piece of book page. You know, this is where it was ripped out from the book. This, I think, was ripped by me. <laughs> so, and this is the other smooth edges. So, had this little scrap and glued with a glue stick some napkin. This is a pretty piece of little Christmassy napkin, too, with some holly on there. And, you know, I didn't glue it over the whole thing. It was just kind of a napkin scrap. And so it looks pretty, I think, just like the ripped edge of the napkin. Then I put a piece of, a little piece of coffee dye lined paper on the back for journaling. So it's a little tiny journaling card. <laughs> and then I came in here tonight and quickly did some messy stitching around. So super cute little, you know, journaling card to uh, tuck in a pocket. And I think this, I'm trying to remember how many pa uh, pages, I think this is two pages glued together on this one. This one I think is more. This one is like three or four pages because I can feel it feels thicker. Unless I just put more glue on this one or something and that made it thicker. But anyway, it feels like cardstock. This one's this one's a little softer, but still it doesn't that doesn't matter. Just you can I'm, I guess my point is you can make it as thick as you want. Um, the thickest I've done been doing is four pages glued together. That makes a nice thick cardstocky kind of you know, a tag or whatever you're making out of the book pages. But this one again, same thing, but on this one I left the strings, did some messy stitching. This one I put napkin on the back. I didn't put uh, lined coffee dye paper, but isn't it cute with a little holly? And then another one right here. This one is, looks like this. I mean, they can go, there's no up or down on these because this is just scraps. And the, this one has coffee dye paper on the back. So that's pretty much it. I might uh, come back and do a little craft with me sometime on doing some of these. But right now, I just wanted to throw the ideas out there. It's, uh, what's today? Wednesday, I believe. If <laughs> I got my days uh, straight. But uh, yeah, I just want to throw it out there. There's still time in the week. If you need a little TV craft for the rest of this week, just want to throw those ideas out there to, you know, a little reminder, even though we've, I know we've all seen these before. So just a little reminder. Sometimes it's good just to have a little reminder. So I will see you next time and uh, everybody have a great night and happy crafting.